little bit of history. This used to be sausage heaven. This is where we used to make all the sausages when I owned the company. But when I sold the business, the new owner sold this section, sold it to Teagle, place became empty, and next thing it became a museum. How that happened, I'm buggered if I know. But look, come on, I want to show you around. This is our main part over here. This is our, what we call our premier event over here. But we're very versatile because we've got containers, we've got fridges, we've got freezers. It's the People's Museum of New Zealand. The Sir Peter Lake Sports Museum. You need tight security. We've certainly got that. Come on in. Have a look around. Here you have a selection of Warrior jerseys. Uh, a lot of league jerseys in this section here. In actual fact, this is the league part of the museum. But of course, we're not just league. I want you to come through here and have a look. Jimmy Cowan's Highlander shirt. Tom Donnelly. His pants from the test match when he played South Africa. The 2011 Wallabies. And yes, Southland, you're in there. Look at this jersey. The Southland rugby team. Hey, mister, with your mind out the window. Don't panic, matter if that's what you're into. You can stand up on the music till the crowd's all gone. But you can't fight battles if there's no one. This is really what you're looking for. Come down here, you turn around, you look at the all-black jerseys up there from different eras. But I'm going to show you a very special all-black jersey, but before we go there, Benji Marshall, Thomas Lulawai, Lance O'Hire, Benji Marshall, Freddie Fittler, are just some of the boots we have on display, but come down. I want to share with you a special jersey. In 2010, I got knighted, very humbling for the butcher, and I got this beautiful jersey signed by the All Blacks. Congratulations on your knighthood from the 2010 All Black squad and management. Then a lovely letter from their manager. Dear Peter, congratulations on receiving your knighthood for your interest, tireless contribution to charity and sport in New Zealand. On behalf of everyone involved with the All Blacks, we hope you will enjoy receiving a small token in recognition of your achievement. Darren Chan, All Black Manager, wonderful. And then, of course, my old mate Colin Meads, my old spiring partner, one of the great legendary All Blacks, you know. But, of course, in pride and place, the 2005 Gillette Tri-Nation Champions, New Zealand 24, Australian nil, and who was the football manager? Yours truly, Peter Charles Leach, QSC. What a great time. To the left, to the right, here we go. We're the old New Zealand heroes. To the left, to the right, here we go. We're the old New Zealand heroes. A couple of special cabinets here. This cabinet, that helmet, was presented to me by the Christchurch Fire Boys. They wanted to show their appreciation what I'd done for them. This one down here, I was patron of Wing 259 at the Royal New Zealand Police College. They gave me that. And this is from a fireman, Graham Hill, who uh, nearly got burnt alive, actually. And uh, that's the only thing. He gave me the shirt off his back. It's the, uh, the fire service badge he wore on his arm. Very special man. Susan Devoy gave me a British Open trophy and a beautiful photo of her lifting up another trophy. Very special woman, Susan Devoy. And this one here, presented to Sir Peter Charles Leach in recognition to services to the Christchurch over the earthquake of 2010-2011. And if you go around the other side, you'll see the keys to the city they gave me. And in here, the miniature, Webella's Cup, of course. 
But down here, the knighthood, the medal, and photos of my family. So pretty special. I hope you're enjoying the tour of the museum, because I can't stress to you enough the www.sirpetersmuseum.co.nz, the People's Museum. Yes, it's partly yours as well. In my heart's meant to be A fourth of inclusion or acceptance Working every morning to late at night You watch the television on your bar at night It's a privilege to be alive This is God's own country, man, everyone survives So open up to your identity And up a number on your IRB Twist your fantasy and tell us now Open up and we can show you No something, cockies aren't the only smart buggers either. Look at this, portable container. What you call using your facilities. Had the container, so I filled it. Container number two. Southam, the Sir Peter Leach Sports Museum couldn't be a museum without A, something from the Rugby World Cup and something from Southland. And from Southland, Jimmy Cowan's shorts and socks from his test match he played in Wellington in the Rugby World Cup. And Richie McCaw gave me, for the museum, his accreditation. That is something very, very special. Richie McCaw, a legend. The team gave me a signed all black shirt. One of the actual shirts used in the tournament. Of course, Heineken, the official beer. We had to get a can of that. Stars of All Black poster book. Each player that played in the Rugby World Cup in 2011 has signed their page. Absolutely magnificent. Look at these players. You know, Dan Carter. Oh, Jimmy Cowan, my mate. I've become great friends with Jimmy Cowan and his family. Aaron, look, I don't know him, but, you know, these boys, all signed. Mate, what a legend, McDonald. Stephen McDonald, you are a legend, mate. My old mate, Tom Donnelly. Felt for Tom when he missed out on the All Blacks. But, you know... You know, here you are, look at it. A collector's item. Perry gave me his boots. Fantastic. They'll go in pride and place with some boots from some very famous rugby league players. And of course, programs, etc. We will have a 2011 Rugby World Cup room. We're working on it now. this is going to be our library. You've got to remember that the museum is a work in progress. We want to have a library where people can come and read old league magazines, old rugby magazines, and, you know, share some of the past. We've got a whole lot of rugby books, cricket books, you know, and these will be yours to come and have a look at when you come to Auckland. We want to share it with you because remember, it's sirpetersmuseum.co.nz, the People's Museum, because I've bequeathed it all to the people of New Zealand. 
So let's go and have a bit more. There's more to see. This is only a little part of it. Well, here we are. We now go into section three. You've been in the main part, you've been in the two containers, and now you're in the chiller. This is where the sausages used to get stored. This is the rails we used to have them on, slide them around. This was the loading door. Now it's part of the museum. So come on in, Southland, and enjoy. This is where the sausages used to get made, right in here. I had a team of 20 guys used to work in here, and this is where they used to churn out those wonderful, wonderful mad butcher sausages. Oh, mate, a mad butcher sausage a day keeps the doctor away. And this used to be the freezer, where we stored all the frozen meat. This is going to be the biggest NRL shop, or footy shop, in the Southern Hemisphere, if I had my way. Used to be cartons and cartons of meat. Freezing. And now it's going to be a shop. Signed by the team. Knickknacks from the semi finals. $800. I'll take it. I'll buy it. You can buy online. Benji's book. Only $39. What about a souvenir? Grand final program. Or what about that terrible test? We played at Newcastle. To the left, to the right, yep, this is it. The Butcher's Dream. I hope you've enjoyed me showing you around. Certainly been my pleasure. QTV and me have been mates for a long time. Tom Conroy, the owner. What I call a bloody good bloke. I'll see you when I'm next in Southland. Don't damage him. Come on, hurry up. You haven't got all bloody day. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.